kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part 13 of my video series on audio video calling and music file based in Android Studio. Okay, guys. So now, now we will continue from where we had left in the in the last part of the video. So now here, with we are we have to now click on uh, on write the code inside the R create fragment. So first of all, here we have to create the three fragments here. So how we can do it? We have the position of the fragment. So we have to use the switch, and inside this we can pass on R position and inside the switch statement we can have a case so case inside if the position size uh, if the value of the position is zero so now here we will write return new and here we will have chat fragment then we have case one and it will return new users fragment and for the case two we will have return new profile fragment so and finally for this we can return our chat fragment so here we can say return new chat fragment okay so now our uh, view pager adapter class is ready and here since we already have assigned it to our view pager so now we have to bind it to our tab layout so in order to bind this with our tab layout here we can say new tab layout mediator and then here inside this we can write tab layout first of all then we have the view pager and then we can say it like tab and we have the position or i think what how we can do it let me just pause the video and get back to all right guys so here now we have used the new uh, tab layout mediator and inside this we i have pasted the tab layout then we have the view pager we have to provide and then we have the tab position and then we are using the the, the lambda rotation to set the text of this and then here we are attaching it to our uh, layout okay uh, to our tab layout so in this way we are we have used the set view pager with set view pager and uh, so now that's how it will work okay so now another thing is that okay so now we have to initialize our file base auth so here we can say auth equal to file base auth dot get instance all right so after this what we are going to do is we are now going to initialize our cinch sdk so after uh, we have used all these uh, here inside our own create view and here we can initialize our cinch library or we can use the init cinch function so here let me create the method init cinch and then inside this init cinch we are going to in initialize our or uh, integrate the cinch library so for this we can say cinch library or i think okay so here if we go to there and we have to use try for free okay so i just click on the login and after we click on login here we are going to use the voice and video we have to go click on app and there since we have this random app and from there i can have this application key and we have the secret id here so we have to paste them inside our here okay guys so how you are going to do is i will provide the cinch library double a r file so you can uh, inside our in the video in the video description so first of all let me just open the app the file which i already have the cinch so where it is okay so i think we have the cinch library where it is 
go to your project view then inside our leaves we have this so i will just click on show in explorer so i will just copy it and i will just go back to my application and click on project view then inside this leaves we have to paste it and after we have successfully pasted it we only have to in the integrate into our project so for this we can simply use this just make sure that you copy it let me just close the window and go back to your and here we are going to use this and click on sync now so let's see if it synchronizes successfully or not okay guys so i think now it is has successfully integrated so suppose if i want to use any cinch okay i think that it's still not showing us because we haven't used the other uh, line of the code so let me just copy here we just have to copy it and we have to uh, paste it above here below and then now i think we are able to use the cinch okay so now we are still not able to in the integrate or initialize our cinch library i think we have to rebuild our project but i think that it should work uh, for this but i am very unsure that why it is still not working so let me just see it again and i think now it should work but if it is not working uh, in your case you uh, i will be making a new video tutorial here but let me just rebuild it again oh yes then you can see that we have the error you can find any matches for since ntc as no version of since rtc are available okay so i think now there is the problem here extension plus uh, version i think what is the error let me see it here and here we have the name as okay i think if i just comment down these two lines and i just go to uh, view file project structure then i add the dependency or the module so if i add the module here from android uh double a r file then i click on let me see where it was and here we have it then i click on finish and i click ok and i click on sync now and it's saying that it is successful but i think we will won't be able to use this hinge still so guys let me pause the video and come back all right guys i think i have got this the solution so here since you have to write this implementation name since android rtc and version plus and blah blah and then here we are going to use the repository so okay so here we have to use the repository then inside this we have to use google then we have to use flat dir and here we have to use dirs and we have libs so now and also make sure that we have to uh, minimize the min sdk version so it should be like 24 and now i click on sync now and it has failed i think we have to use this let me just cut it and here we are and after this let me just paste it here and click on sync now
okay so we have the repositories so inside this repositories we have to first of all use google then we have to use plaid eir and here we can use the dirs and we have to use clip so now let's see if it works yes now the build is successful and now i think we are now able to use the cinch client and we are still not able to access the library so guys i will tell you the solution in my next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like